That's right, it's Saturday. Time to go over the hottest selling cards from November 14th to the 20th, 2021. Back again for some action on a Saturday. Here we go, folks. We'll be looking at the top 10 cards in Magic the Gathering. And that's right. Not the best top 10, not the worst top 10, but the hottest selling cards. The cards that have a sheer volume of sales to enter the top 10 list. We'll consider hold number one. Will other cards get bumped off the list? That's what we're going to check out right now. Now, last week we had our list go over. Here is last week's original top 10. We had number 10 was Karn the Great Creator. We had number 9 at Vorn Clicks. Number 8 was Jeweled Lotus. Number 7 was held by Ragavan. We also had number 6 being Abundance. Number 5 was Marsh Flats. Number 4 was Misty Rainforest. Number 3 was Haunted Ridge. And then we of course had number 2 being Memory Lapse. And number 1 being Consider. That's right. That amazing card from Midnight Hunt just hasn't had enough action yet. Let's see if any of these cards can hold the top spot. Let's see if some new cards enter the top 10. The top 10 hottest cards are up next. Voren Clicks, the monstrous raider, has knocked Karn, the great creator, off of the top 10. Voren Clicks moved down one spot to come in at number 10 this week with 52 sales from November 14th to the 20th, 2021. You can see the average price is $27.87. The market has it at $23.94. A foil will bet you around $30.83 US and €24.60 will get you that card. Voren Clicks is a very, very playable card. A lot of people are still buying it. And even at 52 sales, that's every week, don't forget. This is only from the 14th to the 20th because, you know, it takes a while to compile the data. So that's where we're at right now. Way to go, Voren Clicks. You are hanging in there. Let's see what comes in at number nine. Number 9 is Lodestone Bobble this week, entering the top 10. It had a massive buyout and sales that just froze us up here at 67 sales between November 14th to the 20th, 2021. This is a reserve list card. Its average price is $13.99 US. The market has it at $9.49 US and €5.87 will get you that card. Now, this card has seen a lot of action only in the last few days, and that is because of what's been announced in Crimson Vow. It now has a combo that can be used inside Commander, which has definitely increased the sales of this particular card. Not to mention my own channel here. We did a bio to this card, which is adding to its, um, you know, disappearance and the amount of sales it has. Let's go ahead and take a look at our next card, which is number eight. Now, number eight on the list, which knocks off Jeweled Lotus away from our top 10, is Soren the Mirthless Innistrad Crimson Vow. Remember, when new sets come out, people are trying to get play sets, trying to add to their collections, and this card is definitely being picked up. It had 73 sales from November 14th to the 20th, 2021. Its average price is $13.99 US. The market has it $13.32 US. A foil will run you about the same, which is kind of funny, right? Foils are so common now. And then we have it at €10.86. Now, the Mirthless here, he can see some action, guys. He's got flying. He's got lifelink when he pumps those little guys out. His minus 7 ability is an attainable ability. He is going to see a lot of standard play. And remember, when a new set comes out, expect a lot of these sales to kind of be high. Let's check out number 7. Number seven on the list and holding strong is Ragavan. Ragavan was number seven last week and he's hanging in there as well. He's coming in with 78 sales from November 14th to the 20th, 2021. His average is 78.95. The market has him at 68.09. A foil will run you 132.07 US. And of course, 66 euro and 44 cents will get you that card. This Modern Horizons 2 beast is hanging in there. Even though people feel he might get the ban, the ban hammer may come out. It hasn't happened yet and it hasn't dampened those sales because he is hanging in there at number seven. Let's take a look at number six. And that is going to be the Alchemist Gambit. This Innistrad Crimson Vow comes in with 97 sales between November 14th to 20th, 2021. The price is very low at an average of 198 US. The market has it at 186 US. A foil will come in at 246 US and one euro and 48 cents will get you that card. Now, as a turn-taking ability, three is pretty good, but you lose the game at the end. A lot of people on Arena have been using it with its cleave effect and just paying seven to go along with Elrond's Epiphany. I've seen quite a bit of this recently. Be prepared for this card. It's a cheap card. A lot of people are going to pick it up. Let's see if it holds into this top 10 next week. All right, we're going into our top five already. Let's take a look at the damage this week. 
Number five is a Moon Veil Regent, and that is knocking off Abundance completely out of our top 10 this week. This Innistrad Midnight Hunt card comes in at number five with 102 sales between November 14th to the 20th, 2021. Now, the average price on this card is 459 US. The market has it at 359 US. A foil ring is 616 US, and five euro and 31 cents will get you that card. The Moon Veil is a forecasting cost dragon with flying and some not bad effects if you can get multiple spells popped off to discard your hand to get new cards going. Way to go, Moon Veil. We'll see if you hit in here next week. We're now going ahead and checking out number four. Now, number four is Memory Deluge, which last week was our number two card. So moving down the ranks, but still with very strong sales, this card from Innistrad Midnight Hunt had 103 sales between November 14th to the 20th, 2021. Its average is 631 US. The market has it at 606. Foils are $8 US. And it is $6 and 20, sorry, 6 euro and 22 cent. We'll get you that card. Pardon me, everyone. That's right. Memory Deluge is seeing considerable play. A lot of people are picking up those play sets. The sales are showing that. It's groups of four selling across multiple platforms within the last couple of days. Way to go. I think you'll be here for a while. Let's go ahead and take a look at number three. Oh, wait. I tricked you because guess what? Number four has a tie this week, which is Misty Rainforest from Zendikar. This card also had 103 sales from November 14th to the 20th, 2021. Guess what, boys and girls? That's right. This card cannot be knocked off. It had to settle for a tie. It refused to leave. So the Moon Veil may be there, but it's hanging tough with Misty Rainforest tying it. Now, this card averages $37.50. The market has it at $35.59 US. A foil will be $127.72 US and €26.97 will get you that card. That's right, a tie if you can believe it. Let's go ahead and take a look at number three. Number three on the week is a newcomer and surging to near the top of our list. It is Necro Duality from Innistrad Crimson Vow. This card comes as an average of $24.89. The market has it at $19.55 US. The foil is $24.55, close to the average, right? And 10 euro and nine cents will get you that card. But this card did have 120 sales between November 14th and the 20th, 2021. Way to go, Necro Duality. I feel like I've seen two of you for some reason and I can't figure out why. Let's go ahead and take a look at our number two card. Number two is a reserveless card, a worthless, lowly reserveless card called Thrall Champion. This card comes in with 127 sales, barely outdoing Necro Duality between November 14th to the 20th, 2021. Somebody in the last couple of days actually bought 40 of them and took a big chunk out of the market that was available. The average price is 599 US, the market has it 652 US, and three euro and 59 cent will get you that card. Again, another card I've announced on the channel as a possible bio channel. People are still buying this card, causing the sales to surge and enter our top 10, probably temporarily. I can't see this continuing for much longer. Now, before we get to the end here, let's check out our number one card. And is it considered, does it hang on to that top spot this week? Boom, number one is consider. That's right, this card still holds the top spot this week with 470 sales between November 14th to the 20th, 2021. Let's face it, it's an instant that costs one from Innistrad Midnight Hunt. Being able to look at that top card in your library and then say, eh, I don't like it, and then draw a card is amazing. It's like that limited scry ability, it's awesome. So, its average is 140 US, the market has it at 146 US. You can see foils are a little bit pricier, things are moving up a bit for those at $2.20 US and not even a one euro, less than a euro to get that card at 88 cents and you will steal it away. Now I'll be curious to see if these cards continue with these high volumes. They are all commons, they are moving quickly. I expect a lot of movement next week when things settle down toward our holiday season. I can't wait to see everyone next week for our next amazing top 10 video of Magic the Gathering's hottest selling cards. There we have it, the hottest top selling cards that week. That's pretty crazy, right? 
Now, it's funny that some of these cards got completely knocked off, but the sales really went flat on things like Jeweled Lotus. Marsh Flats didn't have many sales this week. So some of these things really move quickly on the top 10. I can't wait to see how things will play out in the future. And remember, if there's a card you want me to check out and see if it deserves to be on the top 10, does it have a massive sales volume? I will check it for you. All you have to do is email me at alangathotmail.com and give me the list of cards you think are selling well. I'll be happy to check those cards out on the platforms I review. That's right, guys. This was awesome. Thanks a lot for tuning in. I'll see you all tomorrow on the live stream. Have a great day. And of course, a giant shout out goes out to each and every one of my amazing patrons who make everything worthwhile. Patrons make the channel possible, everyone. And don't forget, lock in your Patreon spot while you still can. The Patreon will lock down on January 2022. You check left, you check right, and there's still some tidying up to do. I can't help myself. Here I am filming this on what, uh, I'm, I'm home this weekend, so this is like a Friday night before I go to my buddy's place. Hope you guys are chilling out, relaxing as well. I'm not having pizza tonight. I hope it's Mary Brown's. I'm kind of excited. And you know what? You guys just chill out, relax. I hope you enjoyed the video today. I look forward to seeing you guys on the live stream probably tonight. If you're watching this video, it's probably going to be tonight and one on Sunday because I'm doing a little tidying up here on Saturday night. So looking forward to seeing you all there. Guys, have a great day today. You guys are awesome. See you soon.